Now, when you fly halfway around the world for a four-minute interview with a movie star, you have to plan and hope that the star's in a good mood. Sometimes things don't go to plan, as Layla McKinnon just found out when she sat down with Denzel Washington. We're going after your train. Bubble six, I'm not hearing you. The rear knuckle was left open, so if we can catch up, we can tie it on to our locomotive. Try and slow down triple seven. Frank, you can't. We already are. That train's carrying 30,000 gallons of toxic chemicals. Denzel Washington plays Frank Barnes, a man risking his life to stop a chemical-laden runaway train. Unstoppable has all the hallmarks of a runaway hit. You know, we're the props. The train is the star. Hey, don't get sentimental on me. Makes me think I'm gonna die. He's actually running on top of the great car. Yeah, 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 I hear you, I hear you. We just lost our brakes. But while the train may be unstoppable, getting the interview started, almost impossible. How did you feel about climbing all over a moving train? Oh, uh, you, you know, you, you, you got used to it. You've had some amazing co-stars. Who stands out, do you think, when you look back as some of the great talents? I don't look back. For what? So what do you look to? Is there anybody that you're keen to work on? What do you still want to achieve? Well, you know, I want to have a good day today. I want to achieve that. You know, take it one day at a time. One of your quotes is, acting is a way of making a living family is life. I guess that's something that you never lose sight of. Well, what I said, as I remember it, many moons ago, was that when uh, acting was my life, when I was a young, you know, you're young, oh, it's all I see, acting's my life. But when my first child was born, my son, who's 26 now, I realized, wait a minute, no, this is life. Acting is making a living. His movie career started nearly 30 years ago in 1981. But it wasn't until eight years later that Denzel became a worldwide name, winning an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in the Civil War movie, Glory. So career highlights, I guess, winning two Academy Awards would be at the pinnacle? Then you go back to the past again. <laughs> because I want to show all of this. Hell, you got, you, got so, you got an agenda I want to here say, going. Here's Denzel well, all right, winning. just tell me what it is you want, and maybe I can help you there. What's it yeah, like? Yeah, I won two Oscars, yes. Life has taught me to just try and be the best that I can be. And I, I thank the Academy for saying to me that on this given night, I was the best that I could be. Just this year, I won a Tony Award. That was lovely. You know, I started in a theater, and I love the theaters. And, and co-stars. I mean, I'd really love to show some stuff with you working with Anyone you like, pick one. Um, Angelina Jolie. Love her. Angelina Jolie and Dakota Fanning were two young ladies who people didn't really know. Uh, 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 but when I worked with them, they were, they were two actors. Gene Hackman was another one that I just found myself watching them in the middle of the scene. I, I was like, wow, this... I just, when you, when I met Angelina, or when I saw her first film, HBO film, Gia, I was like, whoa, this girl's for real. Well, you really are in love with the sound of your own voice, aren't you? No, it's your voice I'm yearning to hear. Come pull up a chair, I'm going to bite you. Because in, in, the, in the film Bone Collector, all I do is lay in a bed, I got, all I did was watch her, because I had to sit still. But I just watched her preparation, how she would work and work herself right up into the scene. And Dakota Fanning, I'm convinced, is really about 40 years old. Don't you crazy. And you love me, don't you? Yes, I know. I love my heart, Peter. Playing a baddie, is that more fun than playing a good guy? Uh, no. I don't know. Maybe. It depends upon the part. Upon the part. Don't do it. You know what they give you for that? The gas chamber. You know what the gas chamber smells like? Pine oil. That's where you headed, boy. To a pine oil heaven. I'm gonna get that gun, and then I'm gonna get that money. Alonzo Harris, great villain. Uh, training day? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Keep going to the past, huh? You got your thing worked out. <laughs> well, I'll play a clip for Alonzo yeah, Harris yeah, got, right there. Yeah, Alonzo, who, what else? What else are you trying to get in? Gene Hackman? <laughs> Which other movie? Well, let's go to the future then. Okay. Any plans to come to Australia? We'd love to see you down there. You know, I would love to go. I, have, I haven't been uh, in I don't know, five or six years or more. It's been a while. 
So uh, I, I might be down there for, for this film, to promote this film in January. Brilliant. We'd love to see you. Thank you My very pleasure. much, Denzel. I, you got to send me this clip. I want to see what you what you put together. I'm going to. This, this I'm pressure. Going to. Layla did mention she would have preferred interviewing the train might have been more interesting and friendly than Denzel. The film Unstoppable opens later this week.